Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just want to give you a quick rundown, code walkthrough as well, how to call an external library in your Java, sorry, in your Ducas Copy J4X Java strategy uh, and be able to call and do some, do a call with an external library and then connect into a database, my case, Redis, NoSQL, and on top of pushing data into it. So what we're doing is, first thing we got to do is make sure you have the Redis server running. Uh, so you just type in Redis hyphen server. My current version is Redis 4.02. From there, um, what we do is, here's the walkthrough. Kind of, there's an example, um, JavaScript, or Java program called SMA Flip MinMax on the Ducas copy, so you can search for that on Google or wherever. Um, so what we're doing is we need to call the external Jetus. So when you download Jetus, um, let me show you what we're at. Okay, so here's the default uh, folder where everything resides. This is Mac again. So when you're downloading your Java file, I have here Jetus, and that just resides where the script resides as well, just for, so I'm running uh, test Redis dot Java. So in my case, if you look at this, you'll notice here that we have both um, the Jetus uh, jar file which is the dependency for Redis calls in Java. <coughs> and then from there, excuse me. <coughs> Woo! Um, okay, so here we have the Java file. Um, so this will uh, require the Jetus Java uh, jar file for Jetus. So we do the import for it. Uh, we also have to define that there is an external library. Again, we can um, put it wherever you want, depending upon the folder that you're in. In this case, we're just calling uh, this one, Jetus, the jar file. And then from there, we go about our business, setting up our strategy uh, according to the Ducas copy um, templates that we know about. And essentially, all we're doing is we are uh, printing out a message called high strategy and then we're going to do an attempt to try because this will um, raise an exception if it cannot connect into the redis server which obviously needs to be running at the time when you run this java program so it instantiates the console then it tries to make an attempt into the jetus uh, sorry into the, the server in this case localhost with the port um, and then it will just, once it connects, it will push into uh, 4x uh, the key, 4x data, and the value um, from j4x. So in my case, what we have here is we, when we run Redis client, uh, what we can do is we can do one of two things. So if I do L range 4x uh, data uh, 0, negative 1, which will list out all the available um, value keys keys that have been pushed already in. In our case, we have three, so I can do one of a few things. I'm gonna kill this strategy, reload it. Um, let's test Redis.java, uh, and then we can run it. And then here's our high strategy message. Um, everything seems to be running fine. So when I go back into my Redis client, what we have here is if I do this L range again, you'll see we have four instances instead of three. So it, it pushed a new um, key value in there uh, from J4X. So if I quit, oh no, I'm sorry. Let me just reload the Redis client. Now I'm gonna do a flush all, which will clear out the database. Um, so if I do an L range again, you'll see that there's an empty set. Um, so what I can do is I can once again rerun this. Uh, so in my case, let me just uh, stop it and rerun it. Um, let me get rid of this message here. So I'll rerun this. I'll clear this. See these messages as well. 
rerun it. So now we have high strategy. It's compiled uh, and run it. So if I go into my Redis client again, what you'll find is we've now got the new data that's been pushed in. So that's the confirm that the J4X uh, strategy here, uh, this one called obviously uh, test Redis is able to uh, push data connected in Red, uh, Redis the server and then push the data, the key value into the uh, instance of that Redis server. Okay, so hopefully I'll help you out. Um, I'll also attach the um, the uh, this JavaScript as well. Pretty simple, or this uh, Java program as well. All right, so hopefully this will help you out later.